Hello and welcome to my reflections on day 12. Um, day 12 has been all about, uh, about indulgence and about the awareness of indulgence, um, about um, the acquisition of things and the desire to, to want stuff. Um, so what have I concentrated on today? Um, I've been totally made myself aware of when I've been thinking that that would be something that would be nice to have and actually looking at my motivation behind how and why I wanted those things. One of the things that I think it's really easy for us to, uh, to get stuck into or to get absorbed by is, is the acquisition of stuff, is the always wanting more and more and more and so is wanting something that's different for ourselves um, is that a bad thing well, well probably not actually but developing a relationship with not getting locked into the constant acquisition of stuff I've been very reflective today of just how much actually I have in in my life there was a time when the probably the stuff and the things that I have in my life were were the stuff that dreams are made of, certainly my dreams and and now I have those things i 'm conscious of the fact that probably uh, there are certain areas of my life that I would like bought more um, for some people then you 'll know um, that probably you can never have too many boats. Um, and we get locked into, maybe we focus on uh, by the constant desire for, for the acquisition of stuff, is that we forget sometimes that maybe we've got locked into a cycle of always wanting more. And by wanting more, then we want what has been created. And very often by focusing on what has been created, we miss uh, our ability to fall in love or build a relationship with the creator. And, and so <clears throat> I think that has an implication on the way, that we, uh, the way that we explore goals. And we get very, very, very excited continually about, um, about doing, having, being. Um, and what do I mean by that? If we do stuff, we get to achieve things and then we allow ourselves to be happy or to be grateful. And so we get locked into the doing. Whereas if we flip it and we think about being, doing, then, then maybe we get to have. But actually if we don't have, it, it's not really that bad a deal because we've been happy. So by concentrating on being the creator of our own destiny, by concentrating on the emotions that we want to hold in our life, to concentrate on those things that are powerful and those things that are positive, and choosing and making conscious choice about how we wish to be in the world, then the things that we end up having are from us as the creator, rather than purely seeking to have things that have been created for us or by us, um, missing out on our relationship with, with being the creator. Um, so that means that I've cycled back through, through gratitude many times today. And whilst gratitude has featured quite heavily in, um, in previous days, then it's very definitely been an important part of, uh, of today really really grateful to have spent some time today with some amazing people in some amazing places and today has been one of those days where whenever you get to see dolphins in the wild then it's always really easy to be grateful and having seen dolphins in the wild today then it's been really grateful for the gifts that I feel I've been given and that's just really emphasized the the nature of stuff because being stood in the headland and just going look there's a dolphin and that overwhelming sense of joy just because a marine mammal happened to be there at the same time I was looking really just goes to show that 
our relationship with things like joy and peace and happiness are our decisions and our choices because that dolphin gave me nothing. It didn't suddenly go, here you go, here's the keys to some sunken treasure. Um, I did nothing in order to be able to, to work hard to achieve it. But because of the interaction, because of the moment that occurred, because of my perception of the value of that moment, and my perception of the value of, of that thing in this world, which are all choices, they're all decisions, they're all thought patterns, then suddenly I was filled with an overwhelming sense of joy. And it makes you realize so much, for me anyway, as I've gone through this journey, or I'm going through this, this journey, that so many of the things that we aspire to achieve are really at our fingertips. So many of the things that, uh, that we like, that we want to engage in, that we'd like to be part of our life, are our decisions and choices. And whilst that may sound a little bit grand, um, it is a Sunday evening and it has been an amazing day. And I am truly grateful for the things that I've achieved today. And, and I am just taking a moment to recognise that um, we probably need to spend more time recognising ourselves um, and cherishing those that create things and are incredibly creative uh, in our life as opposed to just the acquisition of stuff or just the stuff that occurs at, at the end you know, the successful completion of a goal. Um, one of the things that I've also noticed is that my beard has definitely got longer. So at some point in time over the next couple of days, I shall definitely get a haircut because I'm starting to feel a little fuzzy. Um, and that is ever relevant and ever prevalent as I look at myself for somewhere between three and 10 minutes uh, on a video at the end of each day. So at the end of day 12, then on a, what has been a very cold and wet, but a very joyful day, then I will see you all again tomorrow.